The Model 501 Tracker is an excellent all-purpose cable and pipe locating system. The transmitter's high frequency output is well suited for locating very high resistance wire paths. The Model 501 system includes the 501T transmitter, the 501R receiver, an 8-foot test lead, an inductive coupler, an inductive antenna built into the carrying case, and a ground stake. With three methods of applying the locating signal, the Model 501 is one of the most versatile locators available. The fully adjustable transmitter output and receiver gain will allow effective locating up to 4,000 feet in length and depths to 7 feet. The three methods of applying transmitter and tone include direct connection, the inductive coupler, and the inductive antenna. For maximum range and locating accuracy, the direct connection method of applying a signal is preferred. Let's look at direct connection method first, then examine the other locating methods. Prior to any locating, always check the battery condition of the transmitter and receiver. Connect the test leads for the transmitter and short the leads together. Turn the transmitter on to full scale. A red light on the face of the transmitter indicates acceptable battery condition. To check the receiver battery, turn the transmitter to the number three position. Remove the receiver and turn the receiver control knob clockwise to the 12 o'clock position and pass the receiver close to the transmitter. Any audio and meter indication denotes acceptable battery condition. Next, connect one lead to the wire to be located and the other lead to earth ground using a screwdriver or probe. Set the transmitter output to the number three or four position to start. Holding the T antenna parallel and close to the ground, radius the area approximately 15 feet from the transmitter. A peak signal will be present when the receiver antenna passes over the conductor. If more than one peak signal is detected, follow the strongest signal. To track the wire path, first adjust the receiver gain approximately to number 10 on the meter scale. Sweep the antenna over the path following the peak or strongest signal. As you proceed down the line, it may become necessary to increase the receiver gain or sensitivity to maintain adequate reception. Very long runs may also require increasing the transmitter output as the received signal diminishes. If attempting to locate an unshielded cable, connect the transmitter leads to separate wires within the cable. To determine the depth of a wire, first mark the ground directly over its path. Hold the receiver at a 45 degree angle close to the ground and move the receiver away from the path opposite the handle. When the tone decreases to a minimum or null, mark the point on the ground. The depth of the wire will be the distance between the two points marked on the ground. Inductive Coupler. The Model 501's inductive coupler induces a tracking tone onto a wire without establishing metallic contact or disconnecting the wire. Connect the transmitter leads to the two posts on the face of the coupler and set the transmitter to a level of five or six position to start. Open the clamp and place it around the object to be located. Be sure to check that the middle contacts of the clamp are touching when closed. The inductive coupler will accommodate cables and conduit up to three inches in diameter. Inductive antenna. The Model 501 provides a fixed antenna located inside the tracker case. Connect the transmitter to the two leads located in the center tray of the carrying case. Set the transmitter output to the number seven position. Place the transmitter rear facing in its storage slot and close the case. Place the case on the ground within about one foot of either side of the wire to be traced. Radius the area approximately 20 feet away from the carrying case. Don't attempt to locate too close to the transmitter or the receiver might locate the antenna's direct radiated field. As you proceed down the wire path to a point where the signal diminishes, it will be necessary to relocate the transmitter to the point where the tone was last received. Resume tracking and repeat the relocation of the transmitter as required. 